Horse at Sable Fighter, and I would like to introduce you, if you haven't seen it already, to the GSI Pinnacle Duelist. I take this, uh, I use this all the time in the field, uh, despite the fact that they issued me a, a stove, but it's so big that, no, this way I could sit, fit in my rucksack, it's fairly light, and let me show you all about it. The sleeve here. is rubberized, so you can use that as a wash pan or wash bucket when you're done. You can also gather water from the river. Hopefully it'll be silt free and uh, then you can filter it from here into uh, whatever container, drinking water or whatever. You can uh, uh, scoop it up down the river, bring it back to your campsite, do your filter action right there in camp and uh, hopefully avoid getting all the silt and stuff and uh, mess your filter up. The pot has a handle that collapses. The lid has strainer holes in it so that it steams and I can tell from uh, personal experience that when the water starts boiling and the steam starts coming out of here your water is done and your coffee is ready. Hope you guys can hear me because it's kind of windy out. All right, so we have your pot. We've got two bowls and two cup type combinations, and you put your uh, you put your cook stuff in between here. Voila. Okay. In one half, I have my uh, can of uh, a fuel for my stove. I've got that came out of this bowl, but it's also a bowl and bowl and a cup. Bowl and a cup. It's got a, a huggy on it uh, for uh, thermal proofness to keep stuff warm and to keep your hands uh, from burning. One lid. You see the hole there, right? That's for some sippy cup action. So you can have coffee in the morning with the sippy cup. It snaps to into the. Uh, it snaps onto the bowl slash cup snap snap so it doesn't come off right and you can have a cup of soup or coffee uh, in the morning when you wake up the other side has my MSR firefly I think that's what it's called I'm not really sure if it doesn't matter to me I don't really pay attention to it but here is my uh, backpacking stove Simply screw that on, deploy the, uh, the feet there. You always want to make sure that that's leveled out. The GSI Pinnacle Duelist also comes with two sporks, the orange one and a blue one, which I don't use because they not uh, in, very smartly put a, uh, the sticker, a decal, right across the top, and you can still see I've had this for uh, almost a year, and the glue is still on that sucker. Can't really use a hair dryer because it'll melt it, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I don't use this stuff. The second set is the same thing. That's why they call it the Duelist, because it's for two people. Again, a cup with a huggy, a separate bowl. One fits inside the other and then your high-speed sippy cup lid. Okay, we are gonna boil water. Because I'm hungry. Now this pot, I forget how much, how much it carries, but here's one liter of water. And it's about half full, so you're talking about two liter pot right here.
Now this lid does not lock down or anything like that. This just has a little uh, tab, a little tab to uh, that you can grab it with, so you don't burn yourself. Okay, so we make sure that this is level. We got our water. Feel the expedient uh, light source. Flame on. You gotta be kind of careful to balance this properly. The MSR uh, buyer or whatever isn't very sturdy. It's all based off of your propane. So you got to keep an eye out on that. Make sure that the pot gets balanced properly on there. All right, we're going to boil water and we'll be back when it's done. All right, perfect. The water is boiling. Perfect timing. I don't know if you can see the steam coming out of the uh, happy vent holes here. While we're at it, I'd like to do a uh, taste test of Mountain House lasagna with meat sauce. Instructions are pretty easy. All you do is you put three cups of boiling water in here and let it set for 10 minutes. Eight to nine minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. Handy little notch. Just tear that open. It's zip locked, so you gotta undo the zip lock and remove the uh, freshness packet or whatever. There it is, all dehydrated and yummy. see it and you stir it around that's probably not enough just a little bit more water okay and we're back forgot my high speed teflon spoon so once you fill it with three quarter cups of water you stir it around make sure everything it's all rehydrated here. Let's see if you can see the yumminess. Just make sure the water touches everything. Yeah, just make sure everything's good and hydrated. Zip it back up and let it set for nine minutes. It's been a couple of minutes, probably over 10 already. So let's see how she turned out. I'll tell you one thing. The cheese is like real cheese. Here you go. Lasagna. Let's try it out. Mmm. A number one. Yep. Mountain House. It's the shoes.